Hello everyone! Welcome back to Reading. The final book of the week is actually based on a true story. So not only will I read the story to you, but I will also read the short author's note at the end. It's because I think it is very sweet and interesting. So I hope you like it. Today's story is Love is Powerful by Heather Brewer. Love is Powerful by Heather Brewer. Mari spilled her crayons onto the table. They made a messy rainbow. What are we coloring, Mama? She asked. Mama smiled. A message for the world. Mari ran to the window and pressed her nose to the glass. Far below, people walked in different directions. Buses, cars, and taxis honked and grumbled down the busy street. Mari asked, how will the whole world hear? They'll hear, Mama said, because love is powerful. Mari climbed into her Mama's lap. The crayon smelled sharp and new. Mama used one to write some letters. Even though Mama's words stretched across the poster, they would be too small for the world to read, Mari thought. Mari picked up a crayon. As she made her own sign, she imagined her friends in their apartments across the city, Grandma and Grandpa a plane right away, and all the people in other countries. Mari wondered, how will the whole world see our message? Mama hugged her close. They'll see, she said, because love is powerful. Mama handed her a coat, and then they both laced up their shoes. Mari tucked the posters under one arm and held Mama's hand with the other. They slipped through the elevator doors. Down, down, down they went, all the way to the lobby. Mari hopped onto the sidewalk, then stopped and looked up. The street was packed with people, more people than she'd ever seen in her entire life. Mari tugged on Mama's arm to ask her to kneel down. Then she whispered in Mama's ear, Mama, it's so loud, and there's so many people. They won't hear our message, Mama said. They will, little Mari. Mama lifted Mari up, and for a moment she felt like she was flying. On top of Mama's shoulders, Mari could see the crowd swell for blocks. Hundreds and thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people marching down the street. Some held signs like Mari's, all saying different things. Everyone cheered as they walked together. Mama joined them. Mari bobbed above the crowd like a, a canary fluttering over trees, and she felt as tall as one of the buildings. Mari raised her sign for everyone to see. Even though she was small and the crowd was very big, so big she didn't think anyone would hear, she called out her message. Through the roar, her voice was heard and someone shouted the message back. Mari yelled again and more joined in. Again, she yelled the message. This time, when the crowd yell called back, Mari's message rumbled down the street and echoed off the buildings. It was as loud as breaking waves. Love is powerful. A note from Mari. I was only six years old, but I knew why we were there. Our new president had said some terrible things about women. He made people feel scared and angry. We went to the Women's March, along with hundreds of thousands of people, that cold day to show that love really is powerful. A few of my friends were there with me, with their a few of my friends were with me with their parents. We rode the subway from Harlem to Midtown together after spending time making our signs. I made two, love is powerful and be kind. When we joined the crowd at the march, I couldn't see that well and was tired of walking. My mom lifted me up onto her shoulders as we marched down the crowded streets. When I sat on my mom's shoulders, I felt proud holding the signs I had made earlier that day. When I called out love is powerful, to my surprise, the people close to me repeated it back. Each time I said it, more people joined in. 
Soon hundreds of people were echoing my chant, love is powerful. At that moment, I really felt its power. One voice can be heard and one voice can make a difference. My advice to you is believe in yourself, be confident, and don't be afraid to speak up. And remember to speak up, not just for yourself, but for other people too. Love, Mari. The end. Isn't that so sweet? The message of love is so powerful. The most powerful message, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so be sure to spread some love today. And I will see most of you on Monday in the classroom on campus. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I can't wait. All right, have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.